Long since erased from the records of time, there once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history for the powers that be. The Umbra Witches, Dwellers of the Darkness, and the Lumen Sages, Controllers of Light. The Witches served the Demons, and the Sages served the Angels. Still, the clans respected each other and worked to ensure that the balance between them withstood the passage of time. One day, that balance was toppled, resulting in an era of strife. It began when a Lumen Sage and an Umbra Witch violated the decrees that bound them and produced a child together. The woman was imprisoned, and the man was banished, but that was only the beginning. Both clans had a law never to be broken that stated the intersection of light and dark will bring calamity to this earth. With the birth of this child, it appeared that old fear had become reality. Each clan possessed an eye. Together, the eyes of the world govern the power of creation. The forbidden child whom the Umbra witches cared for possessed the powers of the treasured left eye. When the two eyes are brought together, the creator Jubileus will be resurrected and a new world will be born. It is both heaven's will and order that Jubileus should become incarnate once more. Being on the side of heaven, the sages desired that this should come to pass, but the witches were against them, resulting in a conflict over the treasured left eye. The conflict escalated until it became a full-blown war between angels and demons, with a myriad of battles fueled by ambition and desire. In the end, it led to their mutual destruction, and the truth of their existence slipped into obscurity. The forbidden child grew up to become a witch, but she was hidden away and sealed in a secret place. Five hundred years later, the witch who hunts angels has returned. I am the way into the city of woe. I am the way to a forsaken people. I am the way into eternal sorrow. Abandon all hope, ye who enter. I am the way into the city of woe. I am the way to a forsaken people. I am the way into eternal sorrow. Abandon all hope, O oh ye who dare to enter here.
can show the world what you really are, you witch. Naughty, naughty. Just look at what you've done to my outfit. Very cheeky. Don't interrupt a man at his music. Besides, I ain't the partner you came here to dance with. <laughs> Still, you gave a wonderful performance, Rodan. Any time, Bayonetta. By the way, is the new knight you promised me ready? Yeah. Like it or not, it's ready when you are. To the Elfin Knight. Not a bad name, if I say so myself. The fun's just getting started. Damn it, it's not even paid off yet! talking about. The Creator will return soon. Sorry, still no clue. Oh man, I must be going crazy. I don't think you've met my infernal partner. He's telling me that he feels a bit peckish. I believe he'd be quite satisfied if he made a meal out of you. What do you think? There's 
Here's a good boy. Dinner time, my sweet. <laughs> I almost forgot. There's another reason I'm letting him devour you. I really like to watch. I enjoy your face distorted with pain. Transform the world into what it should be. That's more like it. I'm all hot and bothered. <laughs> so exciting. Glory be to the Creator Jubilee! That was quite a show you put on. So how about it? Do you like the name? Not bad. It's a cheap toy, but it should do for a while. Guess it's time to open the bar. See you there. If I can be bothered. I'll fix you a mysterious destiny with one olive. I thought I saw a mouse, but it was actually my little Cheshire. The name is Luca, and you'd better start remembering it. What do you want? Naughty boys who stalk the ladies never get the girl. I'm not worried. I'm pretty easy on the eyes. Just ask Claire, Trish, Sylvia, and Ami. They're all crazy about me. <laughs> My, so many lady friends. I'm impressed. Still, it's not nice to be a peeping Tom. Such a bad little boy. Uh, you, come on, that's professional equipment! Damn it, that camera was expensive. And then there's my car with a huge dent in it. You think I broke those things? Huh. Did everything just magically slip your mind? Again? What you did 20 years ago, I'm never going to forget that. Fleur de cire, eau de parfum. I'll always remember that smell. It's the same smell that clung to the air the day my father was murdered. The day I first saw you. the journalist and I'll expose you for what you really are Ooh, what a tease don't ever forget even when I can't see you I know where you are by your scent fleur de cire with its subtle hints of rosemary in the language of the flowers rosemary is supposed to equate to remembrance but that doesn't quite equate to you now does it I think you might need to hone your sense of smell Cheshire it's Luca there isn't any rosemary in Fleur du Cire. The herb repels demons. I wear it to ward off evil. A witch with a perfume to ward off evil. Ha ha, funny. Guess they heard all the commotion. See you, Cheshire. Bayonetta, wait! Oh, crap. Reawakening will come soon. <laughs> Good girl. 
You should go somewhere else. There are demons around here. I'm standing here in front of the Ithavald Tower in Vigrid, sacred site of the Ragna. This year, the 500-year wait for the return of the creator Jubileus is meant to come to an end. Believers all around the world are joyously celebrating in anticipation. However, we are also continuing to receive reports of believers committing suicide in order to aid the resurrection. The latest of these came just yesterday when a head Ragna priest committed suicide with over 20 believers. In a related story, someone broke into and partially destroyed the cathedral housing their bodies. Many countries, in response to these events, have declared a state of emergency, and Ragna believers are asked to remain calm. The supreme leader of the Ithaval group, who is in effect governor of this ancient sacred city, is preparing to appear in public for the first What's time. What's with these humans? Everybody's freaking out. It's pathetic. Running around offing themselves for some god no one ever heard of? But I ain't complaining. Thanks to these suicidal schmoes, I'm in business. Uh-huh. The business of overcharging poor suckers for funerals. And you weren't exactly a peach before. Hey, since I've been making money, I'm one of the good guys now. Without good-hearted souls like me to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Tell me, when you think about it, I'm providing a vital service to the community. <laughs> if you're such a philanthropist, you should be donating to the church. Or at least giving me that reward you still owe me. Don't make me laugh. You enjoy killing them Halo douchebags. I hear you get all fired up. Shouldn't a thrill like that be enough? <gasps> Hey, no need to get testy. You were saying? Shit, you're the one that trashed the cathedral, so how come I'm getting screwed? You really want to take every cent I earned on this thing? Come on, come here, break. My condolences, but the deal was, I see to the funeral and you get me the information I asked for. Yeah, yeah. Did anyone ever tell you that you're pretty damn bossy for someone who can't even remember her own name? Her name? is Bayonetta. That's the name you gave her, Rodan. Twenty years ago, she woke up stuck in a casket at the bottom of a lake. But she's still one big mystery. The only thing she remembers is that she's a witch. I mean, killing angels and offering them up to demons is great and all, but as long as she's working her ass off, she might as well make some money. If I needed a biographer, you wouldn't be my first choice. I've just been told Mr. Balder of the Ithabal Group is about to appear for the first time. It's fair to say, this multinational conglomerate's vast fortune supports the economy here in Big Rid. Thus, many here are looking to Mr. Balder to handle this crisis. If he succeeds... Hey, that's the guy! I got the scoop on that big shot, so I'll give you the lowdown on him. So he's the head of all those Ragna believers. And apparently, it's the first time he's shown his face in public. This just happens to coincide with the first resurrection of Jubileus in 500 years. Rumor has it this guy's been alive since the last one. And if that's the truth, he ain't human. The Ithaval group also has some cutting edge technology that ain't exactly in keeping with their friendly neighborhood church image. But to believers, this tech is a freaking miracle. According to my sources, this boulder guy is a descendant of the Lost Sages, ones from old stories that worship light and were enemies of witches. So basically, if my informants are correct, this guy is a modern-day sage. Let's hope he doesn't try to burn you at the stake. <laughs> There's a tasty bit of info for you. Not bad, right? <gasps> My dear sweet child, I'm waiting. See, Rodan, she seems happy with that. I'm going home. My kids are baking me a birthday cake, cute fuckers. Skipping out without paying your tab again, Enzo? You can take care of that. Call it my birthday present. Thanks a lot, pal. I'll give you a heads up when I got another job. Freaky, fat-ass, little Undertaker man. Ciao!
That's the thing you were holding when you woke up, right? Yes. Do you think it might help you remember something someday? It might. But at the moment, that man Balder of the Ithafor group intrigues me far more than an old lipstick. He holds the key to my missing memories. Of that I feel certain. You figured that out from what Enzo told you. Call it a woman's intuition. Hmm. So, Vigrid, that's your next stop. Yes. Then I'll hook you up. Take whatever you want. I've waited 500 years. Now the time has come. She will find her way here, I have no doubt. What then? Will history repeat itself? Or have you seen to that? Her path is predestined, and I'll tell you how I know. I understand the rules of three worlds. The human world, Paradiso, Inferno. I see it all. And I have seen our actions helping the Creator to start a new cycle of creation. How ironic that the right eye would choose chaos over order. You're wrong. The world is already in chaos. That is why she and I must become the eyes of the world. Until the three worlds form a perfect whole, there will be no true salvation. Sounds like the logic of a madman. You lack the capacity to understand. How unfortunate that you cannot part with me. I am pleased with how things are progressing. The angels have been working hard. As have you, John. <laughs> We've waited 500 years. Such a long time. You must be looking forward to seeing her again. But do not forget, everything we do is to prepare for the coming. The creation of a new world is close at hand. The memory card's still intact. But I still didn't manage to get any pictures of her true form. <sighs> You can't hide from me, Bayonetta. I'll find you. The Ragnar, descendant of sages. Wait. Wasn't my father trying to uncover the truth about the sages and witches when Bayonetta killed him? Time to wake up, my dear, sweet child. Daddy? That's right. Come, dear. <gasps> You must forgive me, but who are you? <laughs> You've 
have quite the familiar face, and we seem to be using the same powers. So I'll ask again, who are you? <laughs> same powers? I think your little dip in that lake has left you a bit rusty. I have had trouble remembering things of late, but have we met? You seem to know who I am. It would seem I know who you are better than you do. My interest is piqued. I'd be happy to explain it all if you can defeat me. The fun's just getting started. Remember fighting like this? Tell me, have I knocked any of your memories loose? Nothing so far, but I have a feeling I'll remember more once I've knocked you unconscious. You can try. disappointed me. Is that all you've got? Oh, I don't know. I think I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> Is that right? Then show me what else you can do with those toys. I will, since you're so eager to play. <gasps> Bloody hell! What a waste. You're not ready. <laughs> So, Daddy, where's Mummy? Is she here? Well, that depends. If you're a good girl, then Mummy will come for you very soon. Cerise is a good girl. Can you wait for Mummy all by yourself? Mm-hmm. I can. Treasure? Hurry, Mummy. Please come quick. I don't recall this bar being here before. It's a temporary outpost. So what'll it be? You here for business or pleasure? These certainly don't live up to the name Knight now, do they? These were real works of art. What did you do to them? All I did was have a little shootout with some awful woman. You were shooting at yourself then. Hmm. I'll fix them, all right? Make them a little tougher this time round. Can I offer you a drink then? No, I'm in a hurry. I hope the next one's better or I may have to put a chainsaw on my arm.
Apparently, Rhoda isn't the only one who wants me to take a detour. Now then, where exactly am I? This place is definitely not a party spot, is it? Mommy! Mommy! Hmm? Oh. Mommy? Mommy! Oh. Mommy! Mommy! A ghost? You can see the angel. Inconvenient. I'm not usually one to play savior, but I can make an exception this once. now, understand? There are just two things that I hate in this world, and that is cockroaches and crying babies. Um, yes, Mommy. <laughs> you go take cover, little one. An angel seeks my attention. I won't be long. Curious, though. It doesn't seem to want to hurt this little girl. Tell me what's going on. Why have you gone through the trouble of bringing me here? We'll be safe here, right? I must become the cornerstone of the resurrection. Ah, then let's dance. I'm going to enjoy this. me that engaging, do you? And you intend to take me by force? Bad boy, that's no way to treat a girl. I'll have to teach you a lesson! Give it your best shot. Come on then, let's dance, baby! Glory be to the creator, Jubilus! your name, little one? Cereza. Did you forget, Mummy? Probably, but I likely won't remember it later either. What are you doing in such a dreadful place? My daddy told me to wait here. He said if I was good, then Mummy would come and get me. He left you all alone? I'm not all alone, Mummy. Chesh is here with me. You were crying like a baby. Please, Mummy, let's go home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, little one. I am not your mother, so stop calling me that. I'm sure your daddy will be but back. I want to stay with you, Mummy. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> Come. 
come along. Wait, Mommy! <sighs> You're awfully clumsy, little one. Did you get this little one? You gave it to me, Mummy, for my birthday, remember? <laughs> hmm. No more falling over, got it? Yes. Make sure you hold on tight. Yes, Mummy. And no more Mummy. Yes, Mummy. <sighs> a bath together. Isn't this fun, Mummy? Honestly, little one, we're only doing this because you wouldn't stop <laughs> nagging me. <laughs> Do you live with your mother, little one? You know I don't. I've lived all by myself forever and ever and ever. Then your mother hates crybabies too. But I'm not a crybaby! Mummy... Why don't you ever come to visit me? Why did you leave me on my own? I don't know why, little one. And I wouldn't know because I'm not your mother. Mummy's stupid. Mm. Were you really all by yourself? No friends? Just Cheshire. Hmm. Like it's snowing. <laughs> that was easy. I don't Should. recall ordering any room service. You may want to rethink your methods. Someone could sue. There are only so many methods to choose from when dealing with a... Uh, uh... Mummy, who is that old man? That's Cheshire. I mean, just a pervert who photographs ladies without their permission. Pervert? M mummy You? You have a child? You? Of course not. Please. But making a baby, that's another story. Whoa, don't get the wrong idea! I mean, it might be the right idea, but just not right now! Ah! ah! He fell! Is the old man dead now? No ghosts are coming to fetch him, so he must be alive, unfortunately. What gives? I'm not an old guy yet. Sleep already? You're certainly persistent. <laughs> How much longer do you intend to hang around here with that little toy of yours, Cheshire? It's Luca! <laughs> do you understand what's going on in this city right now, Bayonetta? I don't really care. Why are you here then? It's got nothing to do with you. <laughs> 
Everything you do has to do with me. You killed my father. You know that was all just a misunderstanding. You always say that. Doesn't make it true. Like me, my father was a journalist. He was obsessed with one case his entire career. The mystery of sages and witches. He probably never dreamed he'd be killed by a witch. It's ironic, really. Hmm. I thought that once I exposed you for the witch you are, I might be able to finally solve the puzzle. According to my father's journals, 500 years ago, both witches and sages alike just disappeared all at once, and their legends vanished with them. But then you, Bayonetta, a witch like those of old, somehow appeared 20 years ago. And now a descendant of the sages, this Mr. Balder, has come forward. It all has something to do with the resurrection, I'd bet on it. You're going to see Balder, right? Well, possibly. When I do, I hope it helps you remember what you did that day 20 years ago. Why you did it. Why you killed him. Sorry, but I'm babysitting. Too bad you can't take over for me. Say, that might be a good idea. Mommy! <laughs> Mommy, where were you? I was lonely. Stop that. One more tear and you'll be sleeping alone. Got it? Yes. You'll never leave me again, right, Mommy? <sighs> what is it? What's wrong, little girl? I'm a... I'm a crybaby. And Mommy hates crybabies. So she left me. So you mean Bayonetta's gone? Oh, no. I didn't think she was serious about me babysitting. Hey, don't cry on me, kid. We'll go look for your mommy together. Thanks, old guy. Listen up. I'm a guy, but I'm not old. Understand? Yes, old man. Uh, why don't we just get going? The two eyes that oversee the world are about to be reunited. The resurrection of the creator Jubileus is at hand, and all of the angels are restless. The followers of Light are agreed. It has been decided. She will be sacrificed in order to awaken the left eye. Light, dark, human, all the strife, all the struggle, everything for the creation of a new world. That's a rather nice set of wheels. Pity it's going to end up on the scrap heap. Huh? What is that? I think something's coming this way. Do you see anything? No. <laughs> Looks like we just missed her. <laughs> Too bad. But at least your mummy made it easy for us to find her. Yes! Telephobeam! I've 
let you joyride long enough. Now it's my turn to let loose and have some fun. you want to pick me up, have a little more under the hood. <sighs> Another one already. This is starting to wear a little thin. May my eternal soul reside with the creator, Jubileus. Old man, are we almost caught up with mummy yet? We're nearly there. Just be patient. Yes. Once we get to the airport, we won't be very far from the island where the Ithaval Tower is. We'll find her. Don't worry. <gasps> really? Promise? Yep. <laughs> Unless... something really bad's happened to the airport, then we might have a problem. Look, we're almost there. <gasps> What? Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me! Now that's just overdoing it a bit, even for Bayonetta! <gasps> that ghost is big! Mommy! the better I feel. It's an amazing rush of power. And power is such eternal. Your new look suits you. Damn it, Bayonetta! If I can't find transport around here, we're going to be in some seriously deep shit! Oh. Don't be afraid. I just spotted our way out. Stop it! Wait! Huh? What is it? Put me down! Be careful. Don't get burned. Did you see your mummy? I see ghosts. Oh, great. She sees ghosts. <gasps> They're coming! Look! Huh. Stop kidding around, little girl. I don't see anything. I smell rosemary? Try these, old man. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's sweet. But I told you, I'm not old. My eyesight's just fine, but it's time to go now. You have to put them on now! <gasps> All right, then. Holy shit! What the hell are those things? Are those angels? No way. Is this really happening? Oh, come on, these things are angels? I thought angels were supposed to be pretty and play harps. These guys are monsters. Chased me here, Cheshire. <laughs> you must be mad. Mummy! <laughs> Shit, is that nightmare an angel, too? Huh? Mummy! She'll be fine. We have to get out of here. Huh. 
So, uh, little girl, does your mummy fight these big bad monsters a lot? Mummy's a witch, and witches protect people. They're very strong. You think that witches protect people? <laughs> Why wouldn't they? <laughs> when I grow up, I'll be strong too, and then I'll protect mummy. will be prettier when you're blown to pieces. Yay! Mummy did it! She beat all the ghosts! Here, you can have these back now. Your glasses, are they, uh, magic? No, they're not magic, silly. I can see the ghosts without them. <laughs> Angels? Really? And yet somehow I can still smell her. Little one, were you a crybaby while I was gone? No, I wasn't. Good. When I asked you to babysit the little one, I meant at home. Luca. How many times have I told you? I'm not Luca. I'm Cheshire. Now stop pissing me off and get it right already. You're not Cheshire. He is. What? Do you think that you could take us to the Ithavol Tower, Cheshire? <laughs> <clears throat> well, ladies, you're in luck, because that's exactly where Air Luca Flight 001 is headed. Fasten your seatbelts, this might be a bumpy ride. The Umbra Witch. She does indeed possess an outstanding power. What the Sage told us is true. The two eyes, one of darkness and the other of light, have observed this world for many years. The creation of a new world is upon us. Umbra Witch, may the creator, Jubileus, grace you. We've arrived. It would be good to see you again, my dear child. Your difficult journey is nearing an end. The key to your missing memories is ready and waiting for you, my dear child. As am I. Give me everything you've got. Everything! Bayonetta. <laughs> You're late. I've been waiting. I hope you've got something a little more entertaining for me this time. You'll find out soon enough. This time I plan to pummel you until you spill your guts. Or tell me everything. <laughs> Go ahead. Beat it all out of me, if you can. Hm. 
shame that's the only thing you have to fight with. <laughs> I can still sense your fear. Fear? When your memory returns, you'll understand everything. Even so, you'll still fear your destiny. <laughs> the intersection of light and dark will bring calamity to this Earth. That was the ancient law, but it was broken, and the ensuing disaster sent both sages and witches into a spiral of chaos that is still felt to this day. It was the birth of a child that set all these events in motion. That child was you. Legend states that the Creator's power is known as the Eyes of the World. That power is an awesome one, and it's half yours. You are the left eye. It appears we have an intruder. I've been waiting for you, Left Eye. Witch John. Any action that hinders the coming of the Creator will not be tolerated. What makes you think an angel has the authority to order a witch around? Get lost! Insolent witch. I'll be waiting for you, Left Eye, by the side of my lord and master. Nice place, if you're in the purgatory. Still, it's a few steps up from your bar. Huh. Huh? How many times I gotta tell these morons? I am not your dance partner! I've got a new weapon for you. The workmanship's solid. Hmm. Hopefully this new one will satisfy me. It won't disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> the Scarborough Fair. New and improved. This bad boy might even be hard for you to get a handle on. See you at the gates of hell. Perhaps if I feel like going slumming. Well, that was interesting. And now it seems we have a level playing field. Don't worry. I'll try to be gentle. Careful. You really can't afford to lose. If you do, that little girl of yours will disappear. <laughs> Don't hold back. I remember. Jean, as heir to the clan, the time has come to prove your right to fight under the Umbran name. You may select your opponent of choice. Then I wish to face the outcast. No, it is forbidden. The child is of impure blood. Challenging her would be a violation of our tenets of faith. I remember now. I've been here before. At last, we can finish what we started! You remember? So are you still afraid? Go of your 
fear. Accept your fate and feel your power return. It is our charge as witches to protect the treasured left eye, even if it belongs to an outcast. You said our charge. left eye of the witches is ours now. Come, left eye. The creator, Jubileus, awaits us. Our treasured left eye will never fall into the hands of anyone else! John, it was you. You did it. You lost the will to fight when your mother died. As a witch, I had to protect you, by any means necessary. In the innocence of our childhood, we used to play together, as friends. I remember. You were my only friend back then. So very long ago. Uh, apart from that stuffed animal you fancied so. <sighs> Jeanne. When you chose 500 years ago, why did you choose me as your opponent? I was the outcast that everyone hated. I wanted to be the most powerful witch, and that meant I had to defeat the most powerful opponent. That was why. You cannot run from the treacherous Lumen Sage Boulder. The path you are on will soon come to an end. But do not fear your fate. Embrace it. Stand. Stand and open your eyes. And remember, for every truth, there is another. I got us here in one piece, but then again, it seems like they were expecting us. <laughs> Mommy? Little one, what treasure do you love the most? Cheshire? Mm -mm. Cheshire is my friend. This here is my greatest treasure. When you love something, never lose it. You must take care to keep it safe and always close to your heart. I will, and I made up my mind not to cry anymore, because I want to grow up brave and strong just like you are, Mommy. You're not afraid of anything, so I won't be either. <sighs> Wait, are you gonna confront him all on your own? Even if I said yes, you'd still tag along, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? <laughs> Ah. 
It does look like someone's been expecting us. They even rolled out the red carpet. Rise, my child. Realize your true potential. It's time to open the eyes of the world. It's Daddy! My Daddy's here! Wait! Little one! Her Daddy's here? This way! Little one! I've been waiting a very long time for this family reunion. Did you have a good time visiting with Mummy? Uh-huh. Mummy's very strong and brave, too. I see. At first I was scared of the ghosts, but Mummy said not to cry, so I don't anymore. I think you've grown up a little, Cereza. I have, Daddy. So. Tonight, you sleep alone, like a big girl. Oh, but I don't want to go to sleep yet, Daddy. I still have lots to tell you. You can tell me tomorrow. Right now, it's bedtime. Oh. Yes, Daddy. That's a good girl. Sweet dreams. <laughs> good night, Daddy. Mummy, I'm not going to be afraid anymore, no matter what. That's my girl. See you later, Mummy. How were you able to bring me here from the past? The past? What? Uh... I opened a door of space-time distortion through the influence of Jubileus's coming. I wanted to deceive both the light and dark of this foolish world through innocent, untainted eyes. He manipulates time? Who is this guy? He is the last survivor of the Lumen Sages. This was all started by him. He is Little One's... No, he's my father. Five hundred years since the last time we met. And if your memories were still intact, this would have been a much more emotional reunion. Long have I waited to purge the chaotic worlds. Once Jubileus is resurrected, heaven, hell, and this world will become void and be reborn. And in this new world, you and I will be gods. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we, Mr. Ithaval Big Shot? You take this entrepreneurial philosophy a bit seriously, don't you? But it's all diarrhea of the mouth, if you ask me. You must be Luca, journalist extraordinaire. I'm impressed, like father, like son, it seems. He was also too smart for his own good and didn't know when to quit. How do you know about my father? I used to hire him to do investigative work for me. He was good. Everything was fine until he found my long-lost Cereza. Then it became apparent he knew a little too much. Uh, uh, hey, what's happening? I can smell rosemary. It was the exact same smell when my father died. At last, I know the truth. You're the one who killed my father! You must have been very close to him. My deepest condolences. Mm -hmm. Bayonetta. I'm sorry for blaming you all this time. It's not like you mentioned it a lot. <laughs> well, if that little crybaby could learn to be brave, then maybe I could grow up and be a better man. It's time to settle my accounts and avenge my father once and for all! You are of no use, however, I'm not without dignity. I will allow you to join him. Ha! Look up! All roads lead here, Cereza. This is where your journey ends. I don't understand. Why bring the child version of myself to this time and place? And why go through such a complicated charade to lure me here? Your battles, your struggles, seeing the love in the eyes of your younger self, 
Everything you've experienced has been a stepping stone to your enlightenment. All of this was necessary to awaken the left eye. You're a nightmare who tried to throw the world into chaos. You killed my mother. How dare you speak of the word love? I am not the one responsible for Rosa's death. The cruel laws of this world tore us apart. Angels impatient for the resurrection murdered her. There was nothing I could have done. But you're a fighter. Any angel that attacked you wound up as fodder for your demons, which only strengthened your powers. And then there was Jean. She was the key to unlocking the full extent of your magic and regaining the core of yourself. In other words, she gave you back your memory. Yes, Jean did very well. She did an excellent job. Uh, You're insane. I beg to differ. Oh no, it's not me who's a madman. It's the world that's gone insane. Are you really going to shoot me? Don't fuck with a witch. I don't think you can pull the trigger. I'm your father. My lovely, sweet child. Cereza. Resurrection has begun. Let us welcome a new reality! Bringing back a dead god? You gotta be kidding me. Jubileus. Arise now and walk the earth once more. Must become one with the Creator, Jubileus. After so many years, the time has finally come. We are the eyes of the world. We will oversee its reformation. Don't tell me that's Jubileus. Bayonetta! Glorious. This is the beginning of a brand new history that we are helping to create. Do now what I couldn't do then. I'll save him. Oh, Jean, you somehow managed to survive. The intersection of light and darkness will bring calamity to Earth. 
that law. I used to think it meant her. Now, I see it meant you. You're too late. The creation of a new world has begun. There's no place in it for you. Oh well, maybe next time. <sighs> I'm here for my Umbran sister. Fuck your new world. Arthropos! <laughs> Open your eyes! Wake up! You're stronger than you were 500 years ago! You can overcome this! You have to fight! <sighs> <laughs> Welcome back. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Oh, you're not dead yet. <laughs> What have you done? Without both eyes, the universe will lose its balance and face another Armageddon! Enough. It would seem so. Cereza, my own dear child, not only have you interrupted the resurrection, but now you dare turn a sword upon me. I will destroy you! Celestial power at work. Cereza, he must be stopped now! Obviously, but in order to do that, I'll need your help. Hmm. Something special. <laughs> Sounds good to me, sister. Telok Bovin! Akraos! Apavago! Imnaol! Atrobos! Adnas Nerza! Oxex Maclear! Sheba! Queen of Inferno, a fitting match for any god. Ready? Here we go. Yes. This isn't over yet, Teresa. There's still time. We can still change everything. Open your eyes to reality! It seems you never learn, do you, Daddy dear? Mother was trying to save your soul. Nonsense. Only Jubileus and the creation of a new world can bring salvation! You're such an egotist. What use is a world where you get your own way all the time? It sounds like a bore. I think I'll stick with chaos, if you don't mind. Mikma! Your resistance is futile! No, actually, Father. Yours is! Time.
tied up. Yes, and nowhere to go. You only have one shot, so make it count. Now, you're about to understand exactly how Mother felt. My child, this cruel, pathetic world ripped Rosa and I apart. The world must be reborn in a state of fairness and order where such a thing can never happen. Chaos must be eliminated! A ludicrous desire. Run along. Mummy's waiting. Bye, Daddy. I can't believe it's been a year since Bayonetta disappeared. I got all this funeral work just piled up and she ain't around to help with any of it. I might just have to find a new racket. Hey, Rodan, so do you think that maybe she could be gone for good? Who's to say? I pour drinks and I make weapons for killing angels. That's all I do. That's a shame. Sorry that it took me so long, Father. I did manage to get it published, but unfortunately it isn't selling very well. Bayonetta, where did you disappear to? But it's okay. I know we'll meet again, won't we? They're certainly tenacious. I should go home. The corpses must be piling up at the church. It's still hard to believe you're a nun. Honestly, it's not as bad as you think. You should come and try it sometime. No, thanks. I'm perfectly happy teaching high school. Oh, before I go, care to give those bad boys a lesson to remember us by? <laughs> All right, let's dance, baby.
must you see what lies behind a cloud? We Now